Hello and welcome to Real Butter. If you didn't know that's what you're watching, I'm pretty sure you saw this on a cave drawing. I'm Ryan Strudy. On today's show, we're going to bring you the latest movie news, make fun of the things we don't like, and also review this weekend's new release of Star Trek, Into Darkness. You know, like, like this, although more Into Darkness, like a goth kid. Remember those? Simpsons writer John Vitti is in talks to pen a script for the upcoming Angry Birds movie. And finding bankable actors to fill the roles has been somewhat challenging. Producers have approached Big Bird, <laughs> Sam the Eagle, and Adrian Brody. <laughs> See what we did there? Apparently, screenings of the film will be free. However, this is only for the light versions. 15 minutes into the feature, viewers can be prompted to pay an additional $2.99 to enjoy the full movie. So grab your parents' credit card. If successful, moviegoers can look forward to a number of other films based on popular iPhone apps funneling down the pipeline, including Stopwatch the Movie, Alarm Clock the Motion Picture, and The Many Adventures of Battery Life Widget. Spoil alert. He dies in the end. Agent Brody looks like a bird. It's gonna be a light version. And it's an iPhone app? Oh, hey, wow, my God, it's everywhere. Jeez, you know what that means? That's the most mileage we've gotten out of a singular news story ever. That's amazing. That's a triumph. I'm so proud of myself. And in other news, Kristen Stewart's career died today at the age of seven. It was a source of inspiration for smart mouth jackasses everywhere and will be sorely missed. A moment of silence, please. even has one bump of butter in it. Oh no. Really delicious. I'm not sure if I've seen one of these movies. Can we successfully review a movie in 60 seconds? Badass. Didn't that take you like three hours to edit? Worth it. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm wearing a Star Trek shirt. And I'm wearing a pin. And I beamed the f in. Yeah. This is the first summer movie we've seen that did not disappoint in any way. I'm a lifelong Star Trek fan. And I never watched one episode of Star Trek in my life. I mean, just as a movie, and not as a Star Trek fan, just it held up on every end, just from the beginning to the end, I was just thoroughly entertained. And it had a lot of action in it, and yeah. it was it was consistent action, but it wasn't that action where you're just like, okay, am I watching Transformers 2 again? Yeah, like, it wasn't you know. exhaustive, pointless action. It was all motive-driven yeah. and character-driven. So you liked it. Whereas, like, I don't know, uh, the new Clash of the Titans, I actually slept through because it was just <laughs> nonstop, pointless action. I didn't give a shit about it. <laughs> I don't care about you characters. You don't matter. In but it queued it up well for some sort of five-year mission to explore a strange new world. World, seek out new life and new civilizations and boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh boy. Hmm? <laughs> so out of five pumps of butter, Star Trek Into Darkness is going to earn... Five pumps of butter. I can't believe it. It's the first. So in the spirit of Star Trek Into Darkness being a successful uh, movie spawned from a TV show, what is a favorite film adaptation of a TV show of yours. So I'm not really sure if this counts because it started off as a sketch show first, but I'm going to have to go with uh, Wayne's World. And if you're not going to accept that, then I'll probably <laughs> have to jump to uh, the Simpsons movie. I will have to say a goofy movie. Based off of what television show? Aw, oh, snippity snap goof troop. ba doo ba 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 doo ba <laughs> Yeah. Love that show. Oh, love that show and I love that movie. It's a badass movie. You know, it's only an hour and ten minutes long. It's like, so no, go it's ahead like and the tell shortest, it's like the shortest feature film. It's awesome. I wish it was longer. So go ahead and let us I know. I have the soundtrack on cassette, on, on CD, twice, because once I loaned it to somebody and they never returned it. I love it. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. I'll be good. So go ahead and let us know what your favorite TV show turned movie was in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this and also share. 
and you can find us at www.facebook.com slash the real butter. I made it through. I didn't crack. Did you? Yeah, Mr. I always hit my Q. It said Q. No. Don't hurt me. <laughs> I would destroy you. I'm not so tiny. He's like 6'3". Everyone comments that I'm so tiny. I'm not that tiny. I'm an adult male of average size. No, he's like 6'3 or 6'4. He's a ridiculously large man. Yeah, you're large too in the land of make-believe. The name of my pants were recently changed to land of make-believe. <laughs>